the green tea garden today we're gonna harvest a bunch of spinach but this is the vajiga raised garden bed with wall trellis i love the raised bed stuff grows really good so we got a bunch of sugar snap peas gonna be running upward but we have here is beautiful spinach ready to harvest harvest spinach either in the morning time or in the evening time do not harvest during the day when the sun is too hot the plant will be kind of stressed out during that day so to get the full benefit morning or later in the afternoon so normally you harvest between four to six inches but if you want smaller you could harvest smaller which is the baby leaves and nothing is wrong with it it's still good it's still edible so, so you could cut and come again it's not cutting out the whole plant do not cut out your whole plant the basically what you're doing is cutting out the bigger leaves that's ready from the outside and you're leaving the small leaves these small leaves here will grow in a couple days and giving you another harvest so what do you do is to come close to the plant come all the way down and cut the outer leaf and this is good too because you hope you free up your space you see how everything is close together once we remove this we get a better airflow we could water better and the plant will keep producing for us so rich and beautiful this green leaf is you don't find this in the store this green like this this is natural this is with compost soil and organic uh, way because I did all I did was the grass clipping on this too spinach could grow best in between 60 to 70 degrees if you start getting 70 to 75 degrees your spinach plant will bolt meaning it will start growing flowers taking away the energy from the leaves stop producing leaves the leaves will taste bitter and your plant will go into seeding meaning it will grow beautiful flowers and those flowers will turn into seed which you could uh, save and it will last you about three to five years and you could replant see, uh, spinach but it's the basically the end cycle of your growing production you're not gonna get back no kind of spinach growing and whatever leaf left it's gonna be bitter so you gotta go ahead and harvest so after we harvest all the other leaf we left back with one two and a couple bunch of little ones in the middle let's say three days to four days that's gonna be growing like this size and we're gonna get another harvest so we're gonna get a bunch of harvest before the weather comes in spinach is a nice plant an easy plant to grow and it's healthy what to do make sure you wash them after and you're gonna dry them out air dry and you could put them in ziploc bag and keep them in your freezer that's a good way when you if you want to stir fry but keep them in your fridge they, uh, they will last uh, a longer time better than the countertop do not i do not i do not leave them on the countertop because i feel like they lose their uh, value fast so i'm gonna go ahead and continue harvest all of these because i'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me harvest all of these right it'll take a while it does take a while because you have to cut everything from the outside but it's it's amazing because this is what we grow, this is what we were waiting for, and it's beautiful to watch all this. So this is how it looks right here. You can see how we have a good airflow here. I'm going to get some used coffee ground later on, and I'm going to sprinkle some. If you guys have grass clipping too, or you have a fertilizer with uh, more nitrogen, I would definitely guys tell you to add some now, and then water. When you water, do not water the leaves, water around on the soil. Within another couple days, we're going to get ready to harvest again. And right here, beautiful. Listen, I'm always blessed and I'm always grateful for whatever harvest I get from my garden. Because this, I could give a couple of my neighbors and we'll keep some for ourselves. It was fun growing it. It was, it was, I didn't really do anything much, to be honest to you. It, I did not, it was not a lot of effort into the spinach. The basic thing I did was transplant and i add some fresh soil and, and then i uh, add a little bit of uh dry gra uh, green grass to increase the nitrogen i might sprinkle some coffee ground there too later earlier because it's, it's to help get rid of some of the bugs and increase the nitrogen which spinach plant loves all i did was that and just water i water spinach maybe every three to four days lightly that's about it because this, the weather's not really that hot yet it's springtime thank you so much for watching green tea garden any question comment below i would love to answer your question and if you've never grown spinach before and you're a beginner i suggest you try it it's easy it's healthy tasty it's a super food it's a great it's a great greens to add in your diet you could even put it in your blender to make smoothies or you could eat it in a salad or what i do sometimes i'll stir fry some chicken breast and i just uh, add a bunch of spinach inside and it's delicious if you're new don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon every time i upload a video you guys will get it right away and we're in long island new york coming down to nice weather i'll see you guys